receive, <laughs> receive bacon. Okay, so there is resource hold debug. That's the one in the flagship. And when I land, then I have a second one. I also have print yelling adventure for some reason. Don't ask. Okay, pick up my stuff. Got a few things. Now when I go back, <gasps> it worked. It's a miracle. So here's the here's the flagship's resource hold with all of its cargo. So now when I go back down to the planet, <laughs> if I leave the planet or I stop colliding with it, I bump back down. So that's what's in the flagship. See, this is exotics. I have 8.6 whatever exotics. Now I have some more. So the fly, the lander picked up 15 point whatever. So I'd expect when I leave, that's going to be 15 plus 8. I can still math close to 23, maybe 24 when we go up. So I leave. Check it out. So. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So um, I've re-implemented something that already worked. <laughs> this was working at a certain point, just with a different mechanism. Um, just to... To, to recap, why why did I do it? Why did I go through all this trouble just to make it work again? Uh, it this was so bespoke. It only would have worked for the flagship to the to the lander. Um, what happens when I want to go back to base and sell my minerals? Like getting that working. You know, again, that was working at a certain time. But the idea of offload everything and and give it to, give me everything or give me some there was just no consistent interface for that. Um, and minerals are certainly the weirdest one, but that's that's why I'm doing this. And then somebody even brought up in chat, like what if you want to transfer cargo? Like your cargo bay is full and you want to give some to your friend. Like now we have a really general interface for it. And even remember when I'm like, oh, I'm going to, this is bespoke. I'm going to just write it in the lander. It's so specific whenever we do it. But look at how, look at how much work it was. I mean, I'm not going to use this. Delete. Look at how specific it was. This just says for all of my minerals, give me. But maintaining this, Pretty doable and not that painful. And if I needed to write wrappers, pretty good. Um, but the simple operation of take one of take one thing and put it somewhere else has become over-engineered to the max, uh, which seems like bananas. Why would you do that? Um, a lot of it has to do with just because we only have single adherence. Uh, a ship, you know, player resources is just an arbitrary object sitting it's an entity what does an entity have nothing <laughs> um the lander is a ship co-op which is a rigid body it's got all kinds of stuff how do i how do i transfer one number from one place to another unless they have some property that is of a comparable type like a resource hold so that's the point of all this <laughs> nonsense um you know you could argue it's not nonsense but um, it's what it enables that's going to be fun, which is, well, there's a lot of gameplay here. You know, you could, you could argue moving numbers from one place to another is a lot of a lot of games, but um, certainly a lot of Urquan Master. We added a lot of stuff today. We added the notion that this object needs to know that it's exiting, right? So if this lander gets blown up, this isn't going to happen. That's important. What's going to happen in a lot of gameplay? Um, so we added that. We I, I kind of finished off at least first pass of um, abstract resources and abstract resource distribution so that I can write things like, sure, you'll want to be specific sometimes and say, send 10 crew on the lander, but sometimes you'll just want to say, give me everything. And while this looks insanely over-engineered, and I was even joking with Fred this morning, like, wow, Fred, let me show you all the stuff I'm, all the like crazy things I'm doing just to send values all over the place. You also can see why it's helpful when you have weird non-number things like minerals, which are a conglomeration of numbers, which is a maximum because there's only so much of a hold, but I get to reuse this, right? I have a resource hold for minerals that holds 200, say on the flagship, but the lander only holds 50. So um, there's a lot of, we did a lot of stuff today. <laughs> and uh, I know maybe not as exciting as firestorms and slugs and other gameplay stuff, but uh, it's what it enables. You have, to, you have to put on your imagination hat and go back to playing. I know w some people have mixed sentiments about the Lander game, but you have to, uh, <laughs> you have to go back to imagine like, this is gonna be you, the player, trying to do something and we need to honor what you're what you're up to <laughs> right and say okay we're taking that stuff back <laughs> so this this is this is 
the, I don't want to say the backbone again. It sounds like backbone, but it's just like, <clears throat> this is the fundamentals that will enable the real fun gameplay, even if this stuff I'm doing doesn't seem like fun, but 